Welcome to worship. It is December 20th, 2020, the fourth Sunday of Advent, love. I pray that your worship experience will bring renewal to your heart, your soul, and your mind as you receive Christ's blessings of peace, comfort, healing, and hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining me and the people of Wardsville and Glencoe Presbyterian Churches as we worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Rev. Deb Dolbear Van Belsen. I'd like to share some community news. First, I'd like to extend a big thank you to our church family and friends in our community for your generosity in donating items and your financial donations toward the shoe box gift boxes for people within our community this Christmas. Last week, a total of 81 boxes were collected in our church and dropped off at St. Vincent de Paul. What a wonderful participation from our community. And a thank you uh, goes out to Lou Brule and Reverend Mike Burns for seeing this through on our end in cooperation with the other churches in Glencoe and area. I'd like to wish a happy birthday to Abby Morrison on the 18th and on the 24th to Janet Quinton, Randy Hoover, and Nola Dow. And happy birthday to Marg Elliott on December 27th. If you are celebrating your birthday or an anniversary this week, we wish you a blessed and wonderful day. I bring you good news of a messiah. Ye shall find the babe. <clears throat> By um, logging on, just go to the church website. We are, uh, yeah, we're just social distancing, just, you know, trying to take care of each other. Social distancing? Why are you still standing there? Grab a laptop, a phone, or a smart TV and celebrate the birth of Jesus. <laughs> my Twitter feed's gonna blow up! I'm gonna go to my mom's house! She's got the fastest internet in town! We would like to invite you on Christmas Eve, December 24th, to join us online and worship with your family for our Christmas Eve service at 5 o'clock and our candlelight service at 7.30. If you would like to try something brand new in our community this year you are invited to celebrate the birth of christ on december 24th at seven o'clock to seven thirty. join us safely with your family and members of our community from the comfort of your car as we celebrate the birth of christ through song this event will take place at the agricultural society and arena parking lot please enter from mill street and please note also that washroom facilities are not available due to COVID restrictions. Again, it's from 7 to 7.30. You can pre-register online, kimcomartin at gmail.com or text at 519-287-2898. Again, 519-287-2898. Please also uh, bring along a candle or a flashlight or the flashlight on your telephone and we will sing at the close of the service, Silent Night, from within our cars. We look forward to seeing you as we celebrate the birth of Christ. Dad? Dad? Dad, 
up there? Be down in a minute, bud. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Our call to worship is on the screen. God comes to us in the cry of a child. Let every heart prepare a welcome. God comes to us in the whisper of a loving mother. Let every heart prepare an embrace. God comes to us, abides in us. Let every heart prepare to receive the Christ. Let us worship the God who has come, who is here, and who will come again. We will now have the lighting of the Advent candle, the candle of love. I invite Mariana Van Gemmert and Sheila Morrison to lead this and to sing Hope is a Star. We live on the brink every day. We stand on the threshold between this world and the next one. We live and move between the ordinary and divine, between the mundane and the mystery. Too often we forget to look up and see the angels in our living room. We forget that the love we give and live is and life is a sign of eternity. God with us right now, we forget that company is coming. Luke tells us that God's favor came to a girl, an ordinary girl. It might have been you or your daughter. It might have been the girl down the street or your grandchild. But the messenger of God came and greeted her and said, The Lord is with you. What a gift and a promise. Emmanuel, God is with us. We light these candles with peace in our hearts for the promise of proximity, the nearness of God, even when we forget to listen, to lean into that presence. God is as close as our own breath, this in a confused and confusing world is a peace that passes all understanding. It is the peace that knows that company is coming. O oh, come, O oh, come. Emmanuel. Our praise selection, Hope is a Star, all four verses, sung with the guitar. Hope is a star that shines in the night, leading us on till the morning is bright. When God is a child, there's joy in our song. Last shall be first and the weak shall be strong And none shall be afraid Peace is a ribbon that circles the earth Given a promise of safety and worth when 
God is a child, there's joy in our song. The last shall be first and the weak shall be strong. And none shall be afraid. Because joy is a song that welcomes the dawn. Telling the world that the Savior is born. When God is a child, there's joy in our song. And none shall be afraid. Is a flame that burns in our hearts. Jesus has come and will never depart. When God is a child, there's joy in our song. The last shall be first and the weak shall be strong. And not shall be afraid no not shall be afraid Merry Christmas everybody let us join our hearts in prayer God of majesty and mercy, creator, Christ, and spirit, you are powerful, you are holy, and you are loving. You come among us not as a warrior or tyrant, but as a child, new life born among us and for us. And so we come to worship you this day, trusting your wisdom with Joseph, pondering your mystery with Mary. We offer you our love and all that you have been all that you are, and all that you will be, one God, holy and loving now and forever. God of mystery and mercy, you came to be with us and offer us new life in Christ, and yet we often stray from your side. You came to offer us love, but we confess that we can be stubborn and selfish in the ways that we live. You came to reconcile us to all people. But we also confess that we often resist repairing relationships, and so we remain divided. Forgive who we have been. Amend who we are, and direct who we shall be. Through Jesus Christ, who reaches out to us from the manger and the cross, all this we pray, remembering the words of our Lord's Prayer, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, for ever. Amen. Hear the good news, friends. Words from Christina Rossetti fit the Advent theme for today. Love came down at Christmas. Love all lovely, love divine. Love shall be our token. Love for plea and gift and sign. We meet God's gift of love in the Christ child, whose forgiveness restores us for whatever lies ahead, giving us reasons to rejoice, even in the midst of our circumstances, the pandemic, our health. We have reason to rejoice. Thanks be to God for this hope. The fourth Sunday in Advent celebrates God's gift of love. At this time of year, we give gifts of uh, to express our love. So let our offering today be a sign of our love for God and those in God's world who need our love to brighten dark days and difficult times. I encourage you to give to your local church that you love and to the charities of your choice. 
I also encourage you to remember the Canadian Food Grains Bank, a Christian response to hunger and due to the pandemic, as you know, at the end of March, we did not have a concert. I've included some slides here for you to look at, and I hope you'll consider giving to the Canadian Food Grains Bank if you have not had the opportunity to do so this year. In our community, I would encourage you to contact Lauren Monroe, or you can call Glencoe Presbyterian Church and leave a message. Let us pray. God of love and joy, God of peace and hope. We are so grateful for these Advent gifts, which bring comfort and courage even in the midst of challenging times. Receive our gifts as tokens of our love and our loyalty. Bless them with your grace, so that they will bring love to those who need it so much this year. Bless our lives as well, so that we shine with your love blessing others in the name of Jesus, our friend, our Savior, and our Lord. Amen. Our praise selection is on the screen. I wonder, as I wander out under the sky, how Jesus the Savior did come for to die for poor on me people like you and like I. I wonder as I wonder how to Jesus, t'was in a cow's stall With wise men and farmers And shepherds and all But high from God's heaven A star's light did fall And the promise of ages As we turn in our Bibles, we turn to the book of Romans, chapter 16, verses 25 to 27. Let us listen to God speak to our hearts. Now all glory to God, who is able to make you strong, just as my good news says. This message about Jesus Christ has revealed his plan for you Gentiles, a plan kept secret from the beginning of time. 
But now, as the prophets foretold, and as the eternal God has commanded, this message is made known to all Gentiles everywhere, so that they too might believe and obey him. All glory to the only wise God, through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. And turning in the Gospel, reading today to Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God for his holy and everlasting word. Amen. And now may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be pleasing to you, O God, our rock and our redeemer. Well, this week, uh, the message is entitled Upside Down, and this is one of uh, my favorite pieces of scripture, and we read it once a year, and it's always at Christmas time, uh, during the season of Advent. And the reason I'm so, uh, I'm so taken by it is that you'll see on your screen that I have several different images of Mary. Mary, when she's expecting, the angel comes to her and Gabriel speaks to her. And ironically, we would often think that she would just reject the thought of carrying a child and the thought of having uh, been pregnant, to be pregnant in society where she would be shunned and not knowing what Joseph might say. And yet she had a faith so strong at such a young age that she doesn't refuse. She doesn't reject God. And perhaps, unlike today, perhaps it's because she did not come from a family of great wealth and she was ready to trust that God would provide exactly what she needed And she found great comfort in hearing Gabriel say, do not be afraid. You'll see how Mary is riding on the donkey. And just think of how it is today. We complain about going to the hospital, whether it's in an ambulance and it's too bouncy or in a vehicle. And here, Mary rode on the back of a donkey for hours and hours and days, pregnant, full term, and I'm sure it wasn't comfortable. We can also see that there's an image that she is praying, and as she prays, I wonder what she's thinking. I'm sure that she's not only shocked 
that this is going to happen. But also, as she continues in her journey through her pregnancy, she will experience so many changes in her body and in her life and how people are uh, viewing her, her and how they speak to her. And she will be asking herself many questions, I'm sure. And on the screen, you can see more images of Joseph with her. As Mary is praying and dreaming, praying and dreaming about what that baby might look like. She continues to wonder about the awesomeness of our God, wondering this baby, could this be the Son of God? These are questions that we need to make time to simply reflect on. Ask yourself, what would you do if this was you? And of course, if you're a man, if it was your daughter or perhaps your spouse, and God revealed to you that it was not yours, but it was not another human being's. This child was truly from our Father in Heaven. Consider what you might do, how you might react, what you might say to the person that you care about or how would you bring comfort into your own heart knowing that this could be the Son of God and the angel who came affirmed and confirmed this and assured you that you are not alone. This Christmas, you are not alone. And regardless of what's going on in our world, we must always hold on to the hope that we have in Jesus Christ, our Savior. We are not alone as we celebrate Advent and love this week. Be reminded that God loves you with an everlasting love. And just as love came down from heaven, God in the form of a little baby, vulnerable and innocent. Amen. After our prayers for the people, I invite you to reflect on God coming to earth, love come down from heaven in the form of that innocent child as we sing, Mary, did you know? Let us pray. Spirit of hope, whenever the world seems confusing and bleak, you pierce the darkness with light, bringing hope and vision for the way ahead. This has been a difficult and confusing year of pandemic, and so we thank you for lessons learned and changes of heart, for new discoveries and hope restored. As nature around us prepares for the long sleep of winter, we pray for those who are ill or dying, and for those who are bereaved or feel any burden of loss. O oh God, reach out to all of us in Christ and give us hope for the living of these days. O God of peace, within our lives and relationships and in communities around the world, there is conflict and antagonism, mistrust and resentment. We pray for all places where violence has done its worst, where cruelty and suspicion appear to win the day, and where the vulnerable live in fear and despair. 
O God, reach out to all of us in Christ and give us peace in these times. O Creator of joy, we thank you for moments of joy and celebration in our lives, for pleasure given and received, for quiet time spent in reflection and remembering, and for happy gatherings, even if they had to be small, or online, or over the telephone. In these colder, darker days, we remember those who feel left out or neglected, those who have found the months of the pandemic restrictions a heavy burden, and those we find difficult to love, even at a distance. Be their light and their warmth, O God. Reach out to all of us in Christ and give us joy to share in the days ahead, we pray. O love, come down at Christmas. You call us to live in communion with you and one another. You form us into families, circles of friendship, and communities. Today we pray for our family members, whether we're close or estranged. We pray for our friends, whether nearby or far away. And we pray for our neighbors who share our community, like-minded or not. We give you thanks, Lord, for the firefighters in our local area, for those who have given and received donations for our food banks. We pray for those who are on the front lines working in health care, for those in research, for those who are supporting the lives of someone ill or someone who is going into hospital, facing the unknown. Lord, in your mercy, hear us as we pray for them. Strengthen them comfort them, provide them with the hope they need to see into the future, a future that you have planned for each one of us. Help us now to express both our love and concern in gentle words and kind actions. O God, reach out to all of us in Christ and strengthen our love for you and for one another. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. And our closing praise selection will be on the screen. Let me 
your baby boy will one day rule the nation. Did you know? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect land? The sleeping child you hold in is the grave. Go now in peace, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord We agree, amen.